Hi everyone, Jinu here. Hope you're all doing well. And for today's video, we're going to take a look at a premium CPU tower cooler from Noctua. This is the review of the Noctua NHU12A CPU air cooler. Let's go. Before we start, just want to give a quick shout out to Keith Rizon, Eventually Yours, Cardon Entertainment, One is Dulcie and Cook, and NickTech.com. Founded in 2005, Noctua is a PC hardware company headquartered in Vienna, Austria. The company specializes in manufacturing CPU coolers and case fans and is renowned by PC enthusiasts around the globe for their excellent performance, superb build quality, and an orthodox brown color scheme. For the longest time, Noctua's signature brown colorway has left enthusiasts in a mixed bag. Some find the Noctua color scheme unique and bold, while others find it ugly. But personally for me, I find the Noctua NHU12A pretty sleek and beautiful, and over time, the more I gaze at it, the more it grows on me. Enter Chromax by Noctua. Noctua aimed to close the color scheme gap by releasing the Chromax lineup to cater to the aesthetics focus builders who wanted the Noctua performance but not the Noctua colors. That said, Noctua is scheduled to release the black versions of the NHU12A CPU cooler and the NFA12 X25 high performance fans hopefully in the third quarter of 2021. So the NHU12A comes in a Noctua stylized box. The box seems very sturdy and gives out a feel that you are getting a premium product. Right off the bat, you can see a lot of information on the packaging. Let's check some of the details on the packaging. Cooler has 100% RAM compatibility on LGA11 5X and AM4 sockets. Comes with two NFA12X25 120mm premium fans. Um, PWM support and low noise adapter. Secure firm 2 multi socket mounting system. NTH1 thermal compound included. Um, six years manufacturer's warranty, which is very reassuring. Let's check what's inside the box. Under the lid, we are greeted with another box that houses all of the components that we need to mount the cooler. As you can see, all of the included accessories and mounting parts are intuitively labeled on the packaging and inside, all of the parts are neatly sectioned by this cardboard compartment. We have the installation manuals placed here. The manuals are clean, organized, and easy to understand with clear illustrations of the parts that we need for mounting the cooler. Below that are the AMD mounting parts. Left side are the Intel mounting parts. And on the lower side, we have the common accessories where we can find the Y connector, two low noise fan adapters, an NTH1 thermal paste, and a Noctua metal case patch. And we also get a screwdriver. And underneath, we have the NHU12A heatsink and the dual NFA12 X25 fans encased in a sturdy cardboard. The NHU12A is a single tower aluminum fin heatsink featuring seven nickel plated copper heat pipes soldered in a fairly large mirror finish cold plate. Most of the budget oriented tower coolers on the market only comes with four copper heat pipes. Having more heat pipes should equate to faster heat transfer which is quite evident on the results graph which I'll be showing later. Here's how it works. The cold plate that's directly in contact with the CPU collects the heat, and then the heat travels through the seven copper heat pipes. The heat will then be dispersed to the aluminum fin stack for better surface area, so the fans can effectively dissipate the heat by blowing cold air through the fin array. The NFU12A cooler comes with two of Noctua's best 120mm fans the NFA12 X25. The NFA12 X25 uses SSO2 bearing, which Noctua claims surpass current types of ball, sleeve, or liquid bearings in terms of long-term stability, durability, and quietness. 
Another special thing about this fence is that it's made of a special sturdy plastic called Steerox. Steerox plus the NF812X25 fan design offers less vibration from air turbulence and fewer surface mode vibrations, thus contributes to the NF812X25 smooth acoustic profile. Installation is pretty straightforward. First, we need to gather all of the necessary accessories. And since I have a B450 motherboard, I'll be using the AMD mounting parts. First, you need to get the AMD stock backplate that comes included with the motherboard. Two of the AMD mounting bars, four mounting screws, and four plastic spacers. I'll be using the gray ones because I have an AM4 motherboard. You'll need to use the white spacers if you have an AM2, AM3, or FM1, FM2 motherboard. First, we need to install the mounting bars. To do that, we first need to insert the mounting screws into the correct hole of the mounting bar. For AM4, it's going to be the inner holes. We then need to put in or sandwich the plastic spacers onto the screw. Then gently screw in everything onto the backplate. You also need to make sure that the curved side of the mounting bars are pointing outwards. It's going to be easier to install the cooler if your motherboard is outside the chassis, which is applicable if you're just about to build your PC. But in my case, since I'm just swapping or upgrading the cooler, it's going to be more convenient if I just mount the cooler directly without taking out the other components. Now that we have the SecuFirm 2 parts installed, uh, the next step is to prep the Ryzen processor with the included Noctua NTH1 thermal paste. We just need to apply a small amount of thermal paste to the CPU like so. Next is we need to put the heatsink onto the CPU and uh, screw it onto the mounting bars. Perform 2-3 to three turns alternately on each screw until both are secured. Gently tighten the screws until it reaches a natural stop. Don't use excessive force. The next step is to set up the dual NF812X25 fans. We need to reattach both fans onto the heatsink by using the fastening clips. Uh, Noctua has also given us the option to use low noise adapters uh, that caps the maximum RPM of the NF812X25 from 2000 RPM down to uh, 1700 RPM for better acoustics. After fastening the fans onto the heatsink, we need to connect both fans to the Y connector and plug the Y cable onto the motherboard CPU fan header. And that's it. It only took me around 15 minutes to completely mount the NHU12A onto my system. Let's do an acoustics test. I'll be using my phone plus the Ceramonic Smart Mic Mini, uh, it's an external microphone, to capture the sound profile of each uh, coolers inside my Vantex P400 tempered glass case. By the way, I've added two 140mm Cougar Dual X fans for the intake on the NHU12A system to simulate a real world setup. Uh, I highly suggest you use headphones so you can hear the differences in the sound profile and noise level of the two coolers.
The winner of the acoustics test is none other than the Noctua NHU-12A. It was significantly quieter than the AIO on load and just marginally quieter on idle. I could describe the sound of the NHU-12A as a low hum-like sound, whilst the L240 AIO has a pitchier tone. Uh, it's also worth noting that the water flow on the AIO is audible on idle, uh, but nonetheless it is not that distracting. Now let's move on to the thermal performance. I've conducted four tests to determine the NHU-12A's thermal performance. The first test I did was the idle test, which is really not that important. Uh, basically, I just want to see the lowest average temperature reading uh, each cooler can put out when they're just sitting on idle on the Windows desktop. It's kind of uh, a way of gauging how well the coolers perform when the PC is uh, virtually doing nothing. On idle, the nhu 12 a is just 2 degree cooler than the Gamma XL240 AIO or is approximately 5% better in terms of cooling performance. The second test I did was a gaming test. This is basically a real world test that a lot of users can relate to. The game that I used in this testing is Valorant, which is a perfect mid middle ground because uh, it only uses around 30 to 50% of the CPU's uh, resources. And here are the results. On the Valorant game test, the NHU-12A performs 2 degrees Celsius cooler than the L240 AIO, which is approximately 4% better thermal performance. The third test is a 4K render test using DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. DaVinci Resolve free version is very CPU intensive when it comes to video rendering or exporting. This real-world test only applies to free version users because the studio or the paid version of Resolve unlocks GPU acceleration which offloads the rendering process to the video card. On the CPU intensive real world test or 4K video render test using DaVinci Resolve, NHU 12A is 3 degrees cooler or about 4% better than the L240. And for the final test, I've used IDA64 system stability test to capture the cooler's cooling potential when it's handling extreme CPU workload. And finally, the extreme CPU workload test using IDA64. Again, the NHU-12A is 3 degrees Celsius better than the AIO, which is around 4% in performance difference. Overall, the Noctua NHU-12A is 4% to 5% better in terms of thermal performance. Even though the performance difference isn't that uh, significant, do take note that the NHU-12A is just a normal size 120mm single tower air cooler and it's able to beat an AIO with a 240mm size radiator, which uh, that to me is very extraordinary. Noctua has done a great job with the NHU-12A. They have created an amazing air cooler that can hold up to the legacy of its older brother, the NHD-15, but in a smaller and sleeker package. The Noctua NHU-12A beats the Deco Gamex L240 in all of the performance aspects. It's acoustically quieter, and the cooling performance is respectively better than our AIO contender. That to me is a very impressive feat knowing that the NHU-12A is just a single tower air cooler. Noctua's craftsmanship on the NHU-12A is simply unheard of. I believe this is the only single tower air cooler that has 7 heat pipes. Even the NHD-15 and most of the dual tower air coolers on the market only comes with 6 heat pipes at max. The NHU-12A tower cooler 
paired with two very efficient Noctua NF-A12X25 fans can pretty much explain why it's able to keep up and beat its 240mm AIO rival. The NH-12A does fall short in terms of value and availability here in the Philippines. For an air cooler, it's quite expensive. If better acoustic and compatibility isn't a top priority, the Gamex L240 AIO holds the better value. That said, the NH-12A is an amazing cooler that offers class-leading thermal performance and outstanding acoustic operation. A great endgame CPU cooler indeed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one. This is Gino. Peace. Even if Noctua decided to release the black version of Noctua NH-12A now, uh, I'd still go for the, the brown version because uh, I believe in the old saying, uh, original is always the best.